I'll be very quick and wind up and, and in reference to the fact that I'll just finish off by the fact that Siglian will de de deliver a minimum of 8 million in land receipts and importantly, Madam Mayor, it provides an annual dividend to this council of £1 million a year. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Given the seriousness of what was accused, that defence was feeble. The Cabinet Secretary has not been able to answer some of the core questions that I brought up. Why can council officers not provide an audit trail to evidence some of the things that I have said? Why have they blamed on the council's three-month email retention policy? This, fortunately, is a political debate. And I can see from the look on decent Labour colleagues' faces that when I was talking, when Councillor Hartnack was talking, they weren't comfortable with the things that were coming out. But if this wasn't a political debate, if this was a planning inspectorate or an ombudsman, and you came out with that, that wouldn't be good enough, and you know it wouldn't be good enough, because council officers have made decisions that cannot be accounted for, and they have said that themselves. It is allowed to make a, a loss on land that is commercially unviable in order that it then balances out by making a profit elsewhere. But an acre of land on the seafront at Seaburn is not unviable. It, it, parcels of land next to it sold for millions. Mm -hmm. These questions are important. They can be answered by having the independent review, but you haven't answered them tonight, Paul.